We view financial system as an enabling function for the economic development of any country and providing for the best life for the citizens of the country because it is through finance that you develop infrastructure. It is through finance that you grow businesses which ultimately leads to employment and the development. However, in order for that function to work, it is important that the people who have money that put in this system can trust the system. In the recent times since the financial crisis of 2008, critical part we recognize is that that trust is, doesn't exist. Today, uh, uh, Edelman Trust has shown that financial system has the lowest level of trust in the history. So with that as a backdrop, we recognize that it is our responsibility to rebuild that trust in the industry. The more educated an investor is, the better the system would be. So one of the aspect of investment right is for us to provide investor as to what they should expect from their financial advisor. So through that right that we've developed in terms of objectivity, honesty, making sure that the advice given is pertinent to the individual investor, uh, the disclosure of information, if all of that is provided to investors so that they can go to their advisor with full knowledge of what they should be expecting. look at the statement of investor right, it is applicable regardless of the political system because finance as a function is same no matter where you go. And so the idea here is that CFA Institute as an organization of 118,000 members worldwide, we're in more than 130 plus countries. And here what we would like to see happen is our membership take these ideas and promote those ideas within their community. In, in uh, Latin America as a region, our membership feels that the economy will grow in this part of the world. Uh, they're more optimistic than Europe, but in general, all our membership feels that they're optimistic about the future of the economy, with the exception of maybe in the EU region where there is some aspect of uh, you know, what you would call as cautiousness, because they're concerned that maybe the EU debt crisis is not still quite resolved and that that may cause some slowdown. The, the two area our survey shows that of the major concern is one, uh, biggest concern is the integrity. Our membership feels that the financial market integrity is critical and for the economy to grow, we must regain that trust and the integrity. And the second area that our membership feels that is critical is that the Europe and US economy, as well as potential slowdown in China, are concerned from the economic perspective that that may slow down other part of the world's economy. And what we propose is that our membership provide regulators information and comment on potential regulation. This would help create the regulatory environment 
that really would support the economy. The second part we look at it is we are also proposing to provide scholarship to edu uh, many of these government bodies that that would also lead to individuals learning more about the finance and the finance function through CFA programs.